If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 17 video and guys today what we're going to be taking a look at is the top five tight ends to start the season in Madden 17 and guys just to remind you as we've been doing with each video this is not their ultimate team rating. It's not their base elite card or anything like that. These are just the attributes that you're going to see if you go into franchise mode, if you play a standard head to head game. Various different things like that. So again, don't get it mixed up. Not their Mutt cards. They're going to have different ratings in Mutt. With that said, let's hop into it. We're going to start off at number five with Jimmy Graham of the Seattle Seahawks. Now, obviously, Jimmy Graham's coming off a pretty awful season. He didn't have a great year uh, in his new offense over there in Seattle. I kind of predicted that before the season with in terms of my fantasy predictions, but I don't think even I expected it to be as bad as it was. Jimmy Graham had kind of been up there as kind of a 1B to Gronkowski's 1A as far as who the best tight end is, at least the best receiving tight end in the game. And, you know, I don't think you can really consider him even close to that level at this point. And the ratings are definitely going to show that. 89 overall for Jimmy Graham, 84 speed, 67 run blocking is really, really bad. I mean, those are kind of even low end wide receiver blocking numbers, to be honest with you, or at least middle of the road wide receiver blocking numbers. He does have 93 spectacular catch, an 87 catch in traffic is decent enough, and an 85 route running, so he's not going to be bad by any means. And again, the 84 speed is going to make him, you know, get that separation from the defense, especially if they run man coverage against him with linebackers. But Jimmy Graham is not the guy that he used to be as far as Madden. So uh, a decent player, but not the best. Number four now, we'll move on to Tyler Eifert of the Cincinnati Bengals, who had a breakout year last year. He is 90 overall, 82 speed, 78 run blocking, and 89 spectacular catch, 88 for catching traffic, and an 85 for route running. Kind of interesting to see him not have anything in the 90s, but yet still be rated a 90 overall. So I'm sure there's some other attributes in there where he's kind of making up for that. But, um, you know, a decent player. The 82 speed isn't great, but it's okay for the regular franchise mode and uh, in the head-to-head -head games and things like that. He is going to be able to go up and get that ball at the spectacular catch being an 89 and an 88 catch in traffic. Not an amazing tight end, but, you know, still pretty decent anyway. Now on to number three. Now, Delaney Walker is actually going to be tied with another tight end on this list for the second best tight end in terms of overall, and I think you could make a case that he should be a little bit higher than this, but he does have an 85 speed and a 91 for run blocking, 91 for run blocking. That is really, really good out of a tight end that can also go and catch passes. Now, what's interesting here is that despite the fact that he was one of the best yardage tight ends uh, in terms of yard, I think he might have actually been number one in the league last year. Maybe he was behind Gronk. I I'm trying to remember, but I know Delaney Walker had a ton of yards last year, and it's kind of interesting that he doesn't have better receiving attributes. 77 spectacular catch, 75 catch in traffic, and an 82 route running. Really kind of underrated, in my opinion. I think Delaney Walker should be better than this. I, I think you could maybe bump down his run blocking just a little bit and bump up those receiving attributes quite a bit. So a little bit disappointing, but still good. Number two now, again, tied with Delaney Walker in terms of overall. We've got Greg Olson, and Greg Olson's, again, pretty much a beast. He's got an 85 for speed, a 90 for spectacular catch, 93 catch in traffic, and a 92 for route running. He is only a 64 run block, though, so that is a little bit disappointing, but if you look at those receiving attributes, man, he's definitely the best receiver out of any of the guys that we've seen here when you combine speed and all of his catch ratings, so uh, very, very good receiving tight end. Not necessarily the most balanced tight end, though, so I think uh, it's going to be interesting to see what you end up doing when you have a Greg Olson on your team when it's time to run block. 64 is kind of a detriment, to be honest with you, so... If I was if I was controlling the Carolina Panthers, I think there would be some situations where I actually end up subbing him out, putting in a different guy who maybe has a little bit better of a run block attribute. Although, honestly, I mean, 64, I guess it's not... I don't know. It's hard to say. It's going to be interesting to see what the other tight ends rank out at because uh, 64 in the past really hasn't been great, but from what we've seen with the other guys other than Delaney Walker, none of the other guys really have great run blocking either. So again, it'll be interesting to see what happens, but again, Greg Olson, definitely the best receiving tight end that we've seen so far on this list. That is until we get to the number one guy, cover athlete of Madden 17. That is Rob Gronkowski. 
Definitely the best tight end in this game, guys. Look at these attributes. 84 speed, 92 run blocking, 94 spectacular catch, 98 catch in traffic, and an 89 for route running. Ridiculous attributes across the board for your Rob Gronkowski. And you have to imagine that he's going to be one of the most overpowered players in this game. If the players have traits and things like that, I'm sure he's just going to be stacked to the gills with all of them. And he's definitely going to be one of the hardest players to defend in this game. So it's cool to see Rob Gronkowski getting a really nice attribute boost to start the season. And uh, I definitely think he's going to be one of the more fun players to play with. So uh, definitely looking forward to playing with the New England Patriots this season. With that being said, guys, that is going to do it for the top five tight ends in Madden 17 to start the season. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it, and let me know in the comment section below, guys, are there any tight ends who should have made this list that didn't? Because I think that there probably are a couple of guys. I'm not going to throw out any names because I want you guys to debate it in the comment section below. But I think there are a couple guys that could have made it over Jimmy Graham. So let me know in the comments section below, guys, what you think. Thanks again for watching the video. Drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.